have reached that time in the show where we're going to talk a little bit about point spreads. Want to remind you, legalized sports wagering at Presque Isle Downs and Casino and the Bet America Sportsbook, a uh, little over an hour away from downtown Cleveland uh, in Erie, Pennsylvania. And we welcome in our point spreads expert, Ryan Fowler. Ryan, uh, I'm guessing you didn't bet those five Super Bowl prop bets that you hit because you could have retired a very wealthy man. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you would <laughs> have seen me. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate the time very much. Um, let's get this one started uh, with the Browns and Titans. Uh, Browns five and a half point favorites. What are you thinking with this one? Stay away. And here's why. When you go back to the preseason, the preseason of the NFL has really become a wash, right? I mean, everybody's protecting their own players. You really don't get a total sense of what either team is. The Titans look sluggish against the Steelers. The Browns look a little sluggish in their last tune-up against the Buccaneers. Plus, when you look at this matchup, again, I know all the hype in the world is surrounding the Browns right now to not only make the playoffs, but make the AFC Championship and maybe even go to a Super Bowl. Let's pump the brakes on that. This five-and-a-half-point spread is bait, trying to get those guys to make a move on the Browns. I think we hold off this week. We gather some data because that defense, what do we need to know about that defense? It was one of the worst last year. How improved is it? How good are Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham in a live game? The Titans defense, very, very sneaky. Do not sleep on the Titans in this match. Uh, again, Presque Isle, uh, Downs and Casino, the uh, Fowlers 5. Let's talk a little bit about another AFC North team, Cincinnati. Cincinnati and uh, Seattle. What do you like in this one? Yeah, this is a tough matchup for the Bengals to start off the season. They are one of the favorites to finish with the league's worst record. Uh, by December. So let's look at how this game could shake out. Both teams are going to want to run the football. The Seattle Seahawks were the leading team in rushing last year. What does rushing mean? It means a running clock, less scoring opportunities. And the Bengals, in order to hang around with the Seahawks, are going to have to control the clock. So they're going to run the ball with Joe Mixon. They don't have A.J. Green. He's out for a few weeks with an injury. So I like the under 44 here to hit plus. If anybody watched Thursday night's game, with Packers and Bears when the over-under was 46, and we got 10, not great. So let's let's uh, slow on that one and take a look at the under-44 in the Seahawks-Bengals. Now, again, uh, Ryan Fowler hit Julian Edelman as your MVP uh, during the Super Bowl. So this one's a little bit of a prop bet, and it, and it involves the, uh, the Falcons and the Vikings. What do you like in this one? Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. When Julio Jones uh, spoke to reporters on Thursday, he kind of hinted at the fact that he might hold out the start of the regular season if he doesn't have that new contract. So this is all on Julio Jones actually playing in the game, obviously. But again, there's been enough holdouts in, in NFL war right now. Let's uh, pray Julio plays because he's one of the most elite wide receivers in the game. He's got what pro football focus says is the top defensive back matchup. He's going up against Xavier Rhodes of Minnesota. That's an advantage for Julio Jones. And when you look at Julio Jones' game logs last week, week in and week out, over 90 yards. And when he set the tone early on last year in week one, he shot over 100 yards receiving. I like that to happen again. Dirk Cutter is back calling the plays for the Atlanta Falcons offense. That means Matt Ryan's going to open it up more. They have a legit running back in Devonta Freeman, so the Vikings defensive back and linebackers can't feed up. This opens the field for Julio Jones to have a big week one game against the Minnesota Vikings. Let's uh, move on, and we'll talk about the uh, Houston Texans and the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans, a seven-point favorite. Who do you like in this one? It's a lot of points, but I like the Saints laying the seven at home. Here's the thing. Houston overhauled their roster last weekend. They made trades and then more trades and then more trades, trying to figure out how to stitch together an offensive line in front of Deshaun Watson. Watson was sacked a league high 62 times last year. They brought in Laramie Tunsil from the Miami Dolphins. But I don't know if that's enough. I mean, their running back situation is Duke Johnson and Carlos Hyde, two former Browns. Um, so I just I think that there's just not enough in front of Watson right now. Plus, the New Orleans Saints pass rush is elite. I, I It kind of flies under the radar, but they're going to bring the heat and say, okay, Deshaun Watson, you beat us with your feet. We're not going to let DeAndre Hopkins beat us. And then on offense, the Texans secondary is still not that great. And Drew Brees, Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, they're going to go to work. I like the Saints. seven. And we'll wrap things up with the second of those two uh, Monday night games, the one out west, Denver and Oakland. Denver minus two. Who do you like in this one? Well, we don't know if Antonio Brown's even going to be on the Raiders come Monday. Probably not, right? At least suspended, if not cut. But the Broncos, this game started as the Raiders 
giving three to the Broncos. How times have changed. Now the Broncos are road favorites, uh, given two points to the home team. I still think Joe Flacco is a veteran presence in that offense, gives them the edge of a completely messed up Raiders organization right now. The last thing the Raiders needed in their final season in Oakland before they go to Las Vegas the distraction, and that's when Antonio Brown is brought to the table. I think Joe Flacco and the offense scored just enough points to cover the two on the road, plus Von Miller. He can make Derek Carr's evening not too enjoyable. Broncos cover the two. There you have it. Fowler's five. We will have Ryan Fowler each and every week uh, with Fowler's five this, uh, this season. Ryan, we appreciate the time very much. So uh, Fowler's five brought to you by Presque Downs at Casino. And that's in Erie, Pennsylvania, just a little bit over an hour away from Cleveland. Let's take a look at the uh, Bet America uh, sports book. That's the sports book at Presque Isle Downs at Casino. As you see, the Browns, Titans, uh, Browns, five and a half point favorites in that one. And uh, again, 50 state of the art kiosks throughout Presque Isle Downs and Casino. It's touchscreen, it's easy, uh, you can wager. Sports betting legal just an hour away from downtown Cleveland.